24 out of the 50 murders in Boston last year happened in Dorchester. Because of statistics like this, Dorchester is known as a high crime neighborhood. This may be how the media portrays Dorchester, but community members like Robert Thornell reflect a different message. Because it's in the city and this neighborhood was going through a real struggle in the 80s. You know, that was when all the, and then to label it as sometimes the media gets carried around just blanketing stuff. Yeah. It's not, it's never as simple as all, it's, you know, a bad neighborhood because it's not, there's always a mix. The poor living conditions of his neighborhood influenced him to get involved with the community so that he could raise his children in a safe environment. It was, it was a rough time. But we had a number of folks that were pretty solid neighbors, and we organized the neighborhood association. And then we finally ran all that stuff out of here, you know. It just wasn't, you know, their business went down because we were on the case. Robert has continued his work in the community, volunteering on the board of several community organizations. The Greater Four Corners Action Coalition is one organization that Robert has served on for the last 20 years. Done a lot of good things like bring in the, the new train system. We're building that. There was a lot of uh, dumping that went around in this area. You know, folks that they would come in our neighborhood for some reason think they could just dump it and and go. You know, nobody would say anything. They found out differently though, and we were able to clean up through their you know their efforts and our efforts together to clean up all that kind of stuff in the neighborhood. So, although Robert stays busy with community service. His newest endeavor is bringing the arts back to the community to get young people more involved. In 2005, when Robert's wife passed away, he used painting as a way to grieve. However, now he's begun to use art for more than just meditation or a hobby. His community service does not stop with his artwork, and he doesn't plan on slacking off from his work anytime soon. We want to stay on our mission because that you have to do that. Um, because if you relax, you know, things can go. <laughs> and uh, we want to, we're trying to get, recruit young people to feel the same mission. His efforts in Dorchester come from a deep love for his community. Having spent the last 40 years quietly cleaning the streets of Dorchester, Robert is a humble hero to his community. For JR202, I'm Brianna Baxter.